Ever look at your neighbor's backyard and wonder, how did they create that? Well, we did too. Welcome to Backyarding, where in six short days, four families battle it out through a series of challenges, fighting to be crowned best on the block. I'm Rachel Taylor, carpentress extraordinaire. And I'm Tyler Bankin, master landscape designer. And together, we're gonna help these families whip their backyards into shape one challenge at a time. Join us as we go Backyarding. backyarding. Welcome back to Backyarding. Who's ready? You all are getting into it. I see all the team colors. I see the bandanas. Everybody's oh yeah. really good. Rachel, we still have our four families here competing to turn their drab backyard space into a beautiful outdoor oasis. We're on to challenge number one for today. We're at Ramey's Nursery. You each have 30 minutes and $500 to spend. You're gonna be judged today on your teamwork and creativity. Okay? It's all you. So keep that in mind as you're shopping. You guys ready to go? Yes. We're ready to go. Let's do right. this. Let's go. Go. <laughs> Which, where are we going? We have 30 minutes, so we should So now we can get a couple of these. Okay. Well, Rachel suggested adding some color, adding some height, which I had not thought about. Mm -hmm. So we try to follow that. So I get some ground cover for under the tree. Hey, look at this color. Maybe one of each. We had a cut. Yeah, a wheelbarrow or something. In the front part of the bed, we want to do a lower plant. Okay. Okay. So if we did something like the blue rescue grass down low, and okay. then a medium height, and yeah, then something a little bit taller. Tyler really opened my eyes to how to use different plants and to um, combine different colors and even the textures. We want bright color. Bright color. Number one. Should we keep the bougainvillea color consistent along the fence? Yes. And yeah. then maybe a totally like contrasting color yeah. in the pot. Yeah, that way you kind of make it a focal point. Drought friendly, um, eco friendly, stuff that is not, you know, super difficult to take care of. Ooh, they have lavender too. I want something like, you can see the texture. She has the, yeah. the, the, the has touch. The she has the visual okay, thing, so we, we just let defer person. to her to, to do that. <laughs> oh, this yeah. one, this is nice. This yeah, one is so really good. Yeah. Nice. So we have about 300 left. With this right here, we're 294. Okay. Color match actually gets really we orange and red okay. uh -huh. when it's sitting in the sun. You have a lot of sun in the backyard. It would do really well there. We yeah. split up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Looking Divide for a tree. Um, okay. Getting some ground cover. Do we still have money? Ten minutes left. I mean, it's a really nice big pop of blue. So I'm probably gonna need help getting the fruit tree, so I'll check in with the staff. Well, I've got some muscles. You need some help? Or do you want just this instead? Do you like it, maybe? I love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we have to find herbs. That was the thing. Yeah. Okay. So herbs are behind us. Okay. What are, you, what are you looking for? Rosemary, sage. I think um, parsley. Parsley, mint. If they have basil, basil? will be nice, right? Basil yes. Would be great. Maybe yeah. it could be there to give some height and kind of break up between the door and the, the window there. Yeah. Yes, and we do have pods. They're empty yeah. or they have okay. dead plants. Today's the day to fill the pots. Yes. Let's do it. We got a big tree. Twenty-one so that's, uh, times six fifty. That's one hundred and thirty. Right? Yeah, one hundred and thirty. Oh, you got in your head. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. All right, guys. Two minute warning! Woo! Two minutes, I'm oh. nervous. Team yellow, let's go! Oh, beautiful, look at that. I think we might be a little over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five! Four, three, two, one! Woo -hoo! We're done Great shopping. Job. Shopping's done. All right. Gary, Tiffany, JJ, how are we doing? It's awesome. 
looks like a shopping spree to me. I think so. For sure. yeah, it's a great Tom's going to come over and do some pricing for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how we came in with our budget. How do we feel? Yeah. We feel good. We feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I think uh, I think we got what we needed. I think this will cover that uh, that corner quite nicely. Yeah. So you are four seventy seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We have room. We have room. Okay. All right. Great job, guys. All right, GJ Ross. How are we feeling? Good. Feeling pretty good. How was your shopping spree? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was What's hard. your favorite item? I think I can speak for Vivian when I say that is her favorite. The, the, morning, the, morning, the morning Glory, glory vibe. Yeah. We were looking for bright, vibrant colors to really lighten up the backyard. A bunch of bougainvillea. Yeah. Pinks yeah. and oranges. That is a peaches. beautiful bougainvillea, that color. Yeah. We can't wait to have it just pop in the backyard. Great job. Okay, yeah. Tom, what's our number? Guys. 491.50. Whoa, we job. did it. Wow. Great job. Good job, yeah. Team Yellow. Wow, I see uh, some big spending over here. Hold on, Victoria, are you still shopping? No, actually. <laughs> this is my Every best. Oh, okay. I wish all of you can smell this. <laughs> Talk to us about your strategy here. We were really looking for some ground cover. We have a lot of open soil space, mm -hmm. uh, full sun. We also wanted some color, so we have the pops of the flowers and then trees for fruit. So we have an apple and a persimmon tree. Yeah, apple and persimmons are my favorites. You guys had the existing shrub back there that's the focal point. Yes. So all this stuff will help frame and lead up to that. So right. you did a great job today to get to the focal point. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for all okay. your help and advice. Yes, Tom, what's our number here? 473.56. Also, look Ooh, at the bow tie, by the way. Can we just say the bow tie for Team Green? I Other thought it was green. green tie, not green thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Aisha and Chris. Hi. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Right, right. Good. Yeah? Are you feeling nervous? I'm a little nervous, so we might have gone a touch over. Yeah? Let's see. Well, I love all of the choices. You went very green. Yes. Yeah. Tyler. Ground cover. Think? They've got the layers. I love the pinks and the purples. Mm -hmm. The kind of the muted colors uh -huh. are beautiful. Yes. And then we have some peppers too. Yes. Yes, yeah, for peppers. the raised bags. Okay. Awesome. Right. Tom, do we have a number? They are at $480. Four eighty. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 I think maybe we need a couple more peppers. I was going to say, you're going to go get some peppers, aren't you? <laughs> Wow, you all did such a great job today. We are so excited for you. Amazing job, everyone. I saw a lot of hard work, a lot of teamwork. Everyone was under budget. Absolutely. I have never been shopping for plants been under budget. <laughs> Ever. That's not a problem yeah. that I have. No, not at all. Congratulations, everyone. Now, challenge two is going to be to place these plants and to plant these plants. You'll be judged on teamwork, again, as well as use of space and efficiency. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right, All right let's, let's get, get planning. planning. All right. Challenge two. Yeah, we're going to plant all these. We could just start putting them where we talked yeah. about having yeah, them. Exactly. I'll put the you bougainvillea over, over there. here. Start over here. This is going to be awesome because we are all about the color, and uh, I think this is going to be like a strong challenge for us. I think so too. We got a lot of work ahead of us. You want to start with the corner? The yeah, the let's do one. the focal point. Okay. So what do you want there? Let's go ahead and bring these um, pines. Okay. Put one in front, and then maybe two in the back. Two in the back. Okay. And these are nice because Tyler said that it could grow up to 10 feet. Whoa, 10 feet. And um, I think the sides are a little bit thinner, so it wouldn't okay. overcrowd. Let's get the lavender. Okay. And the fescue grass. Okay, so we just gotta set these plants. We gotta build those. How about we do one of those, one of these? And this one, so... And then put this where, uh, set this over there. Right there. Okay. Our high shade are gonna go over here, right? Because we, we're not getting a lot of sun here. But then some of the things that get a lot of sun, Maybe we're gonna that. put over on that side. Let's uh, decide where to put all this. Uh... Yes. Tyler was talking about that focal point and putting things around it. Uh -huh. um, so maybe we can start there, decide what we want to put there. This is the ground, the ground cover. cover. So we need to have some levels. Mm -hmm. So this is low, mm -hmm. middle, and then we need height here. Around the ground this cover. One. Yes. Okay, so we'll start putting. Yeah, yeah, we'll just like 
Look at it first, arrange it here before we bring it out there. Oh, I like that. And then back here? Yeah. Just like right there. Mm -hmm. Wow, this no, is no, 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 no. Uh, very focal y. It's too focal right now. Yeah, maybe, we need, <laughs> maybe it's too much. I mean, we'll use, I think, the rocks for advantage. Yeah. And kind of create that natural landscape, I think, which is nice. It's looking good. What do you guys think? If I put this one here, woo, brings color. It's pretty. Purple. And then this purple. Hello. Hi. Sounds like he's here. Okay. Hey guys. All right. Hey, how's How it are going? You? Good. Look at all the plants. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're awesome. coming in nicely. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's start with the stuff you've already placed. Okay, so we've got the diamondia here. So this one looks like it has some flowers on it too. This is kind of a part shade, I feel like, so they'll both be okay. And then you can still walk on it. Yeah. So yes. it makes it usable space again. Yeah. And should okay. we break them up? The easiest way to install these is to basically act like this is a, like a cake. So okay. cut them in like little pieces of cake, maybe like four inch by four inch, and okay. then take them out and plant them that way in little clumps. And just space them out. Eventually it'll look like this all together. So we gotta Sweet. dig dig up a, like kind of holes for them. It shouldn't be too deep because it's not a you know, crazy yeah. deep plant. Well, we still that. have good. the backyard discovery planters. Yes, yeah, you've yeah. got a lot to do. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hi. Hey, how are you? How's it going? What do you think? Oh. Yeah. I like it. So this is our bougainvillea section okay. along this wall. And we have this planter that we thought these yellow uh, flowers might go in. You know, also, okay. we're team yellow. That's the main plant, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Well, you did mention something about a blue bench. Yes, blue so being your favorite. we have like an old-fashioned sort of park bench, and I always envision spray painting it and making it look new. So Lovely. I thought we could maybe spray paint that blue. Well, that's what I brought with me today. Cool. We have oh. some spray paint in exactly that blue. Great. Perfect. And I'm thinking, place it on a planner as well. We'll help us coordinate that blue in two different areas of oh, yeah. the space. That would be cute. So Gigi and Vivi, would you like to help me paint a little planter? I think that sounds fun. What do you think? Yeah. Yep. Amazing. All right. Ross, you come with me. Right. We're on planting duty. If you want to go ahead and just wipe it down, yeah. I'll prep the plastic. What we're going to do is put the plastic around the top, tape okay. it down. So what we're aiming for is a band of white around the top. Oh, that'll be pretty. And then blue at the bottom. What a great idea. Yeah. I would it never have thought of that. just punches up the contrast. Yeah. yeah. Are we just leaving this part white or? Yeah, just okay. the top band white. So we've got about five inches here. So I'm just gonna try and hit it at five inches all the way around. If you can just make sure the tape is flat. Yeah. Five inches there, inches there, perfect. So you wanna do the taller ones in the back, the lower ones will be here. So we'll put this one right here. We are ready to paint. Great. As we see, Painting is all prep, and then the final 2% of the project is actually painting. Yeah. <laughs> so, 10 inches away from the surface and come back and forth. Okay. Horizontally. Let's okay. Go. You can do this. Team yellow, let's roll. And then I want this um, purple one right uh, here. over here. Yeah. Right there. And so that basically makes the rainbow yeah, that you guys are talking about at the nursery. Exactly. Right? Very nice. Like how we can keep opaque. moving. Yep, that's right. Just a real simple coat. Just to have the final coat grab onto something. 
And I know that Vivian's window, and she loves this. It's great. It's already on the stake. It's already trailing up. It looks very happy. The color is really going to pick up the other areas of blue. Yeah. Not only just in your plantings, but also in your decor. It's a lot of fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very... It's really rewarding. Very satisfying. Yeah. Simpler Nice. How's that? It's amazing. A fantastic pop at a fraction of the price of something new. Yeah. And that's a great thing about this Max Flex All Surface Spray. It's so phenomenal for upcycle projects like this. The way it sprays in just a few passes just gives a flawless finish, as you can see. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Okay. All right, yeah. we'll see you later for the scoring. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, great job, guys. Hey! Hello. Wow. Hey, it already looks so much better. Wow. Like it's pile of rocks. And Thank I love you. the levels that they've yes, accomplished here. Yes, the layering. Here. Something that you recommended at the nursery was the pine trees in terms of having the focal point. I do like the three because it yeah. does bulk up. A little pop of color of the greens um, and succulents so that it's drought tolerant as well. It looks great. Your eye can just carry through the bed, mm. yeah. which is the goal of design and placement. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gary, you're coming anyway. with me. We're going to go planting. All right. I just saved you from digging. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it, guys. Regrets. All right, All right let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Here we are. We are going to assemble this really simple planter okay. from Backyard Discovery. Mm -hmm. They make it so easy to assemble all of the parts. Everything is straightforward. Oh, woof, woof. Hey. It's not as hard as it looks, is it? So when we're laying things out, it's really important to just sort of do a dry fit, which means that we're going to lay things according to how they're going to be assembled without assembling them first. Okay. Let's see how we're going here. So this is made with superior performing grade A tropical teak wood. The reason why that's so important is because it is nice and dense and naturally repellent to insects and rot. So this is a really well-made product. It's going to last you for years. That, my friend, is called drill. <laughs> the drill has a bit. Yeah. And the bit just spills right into the collet. Okay. I'm going to give that to you so that we can get double time okay. going. And all we do is take this, mm -hmm. place it in one of the holes. Look at that, we are done. Great job. Everything's coming together. Let's sit her up and step back and Look at our good work here. Oh. Isn't it just gorgeous? So in addition to the wide slot construction at the bottom, which is perfectly spaced for drainage for your plants, mm -hmm. it also comes with this amazing mesh topper. All you do is line the inside of this thing. And look at that. The plastic protects the sidewalls. The mesh allows the water to drain right through. There's a couple more screws in there. You think you got that handled? Yeah. Perfect. Right. I'm going to leave you to it. Look at this. Hey guys. Oh, wow. Like Look at boys. this. <laughs> All in the focal spot. I love spot. the focal I point. I'm so impressed. <laughs> we need your help. We need your expert. This looks great. There's one Jeez. right there. We're just uh, mixing and matching. You say mixing and matching, but really whenever you're looking at it, my eye is following the yellow from here to here to there, right. which is great. Mm. You've got the blues and the purples. You've got some contrast. So we've got these plants, and then we got some trees this morning too, yeah. right? Yeah. Right in the corner. Oh. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Oh, Persimmon. Right it's fruiting. Can we split this? You think between <laughs> between yeah, five sure, of us? Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. Can we do that? All the way yeah. here. These are great because you're gonna get plenty of sun, and it fills the corner in nicely too. Awesome. Great job, guys. We're proud of you. Yeah. Thank you. you. Did a really great job. It looks job. great. So, okay, so you got some planting to do, huh? Yeah. So we'll see y'all later on in the scoring. All, all right. right. Thanks okay. So much. Good luck. Thank all right. Great job. Everybody, once again, killed it. They really did. It was great. And I see that they're listening to us as well. They're taking direction. Yes. They're applying what they, we told them to do. Chris and Aisha, I really was impressed at the way that they had a plan. They really bonded together and said, we were going to divide and conquer. Yep. They knew what they were looking for, and you could tell they talked about it before yep. they even showed up. He was a little nervous about his budget. Yeah. And to come in so close to it, 
Yeah. I think it surprised him. Uh, Times six fifty. That's one hundred thirty. Right? Yeah, one hundred thirty. Oh, you got in your head. Gigi and Ross really had their personality shine. Love just all the color they chose. You the know, rainbow theme. I think they were inspired by their children. Or do you want just this instead? Do you like it, baby? <laughs> okay. They seem like a very artistic family. The yeah. second that I really saw their collection at the nursery, I could tell whose spot that yes. was. Gary and Tiffany, I think they really knew what they wanted. They had their color palette too. It's more of muted light blues and the purple. Yes. You know, get the blue junipers mm -hmm. and some other stuff. Their placement, I might have wanted to see a little something else in terms yeah. of spreading things out. I mean, we'll use, I think, the rocks for advantage. Yeah. And kind of create that natural landscape, I think, which is nice. I'm interested in seeing them go further. Denise, Dennis, and Victoria. Victoria was going on a shopping spree. Let's all be honest. She was yeah. really enjoying herself. This is the best. Apple tree. Apple tree. Do we still have money? They have such a good attitude. They do. I mean, Victoria's like, it's I want one sweet. of these. I want one of these. I want one of these. And she just, was. And then, candy poor, candy Dennis, poor Dennis carrying his cart. Yeah. You gotta love her focus. And she really was interested in not just color and height, but also smells. She's a good yeah, for sure. She loved the garlic. Oh, okay. I wish all of you can smell this. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Welcome everybody. Ooh. We did it, day two. How do you feel? Good. Good. Tired, good. Rachel and I are so proud of you. We saw a lot of hard work, saw a lot of creativity. Challenge one this morning, we shopped, we dropped. And it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Shopping's always fun. Always. Nobody went over budget, which yes. is pretty amazing. Yes. I'm impressed. I actually can't believe it. Maybe I have something to learn from you, for <laughs> sure. And then challenge two was placement and starting the planting process. That's right. And that's some hard work. So give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Day two is in the books. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's Our go. First up, Gigi Ross. Vivian and Gus, this morning at the nursery shopping, you all pulled together. I saw you communicating, talking about all the different colors, different layout, where you'll put this. It was a great, great time for you all at the nursery, and I saw it. On challenge two, I love the rainbow palette. The pops of color, it's so much fun, and we could see your personalities come through in your shopping decision, in your placement, and your ideas. So for challenge one, you got a 10 perfect score. And for challenge two, you got a 15. So a total of 25 oh, nice. for a perfect score today. Perfect. Oh, nice. Great job. Gary, Tiffany, and JJ, on your very first challenge today, you went shopping. And I saw a lot of collaboration. You were ready to hustle for everything that you wanted. You got everything on your list. And I love the mixture of all your grasses. And that takes us to challenge number two which was your placement. I saw a lot of really wonderful ideas about your focal point in your backyard and how to really enjoy everything you chose. Challenge one, you received a score of a 10. Ooh. And on challenge two, you received a score of 14 for a total of 24. We loved everything. I was just looking for a little bit more of a surprise. And we just didn't find it today but we believe in you. Up next, Chris and Aisha. Today we saw you do a fantastic job in challenge one. You divided and you conquered. It means that you're really listening to us, listening to each other and applying it out in the field. That's really hard to do when you've got dangling carrots of free accessories called plants and soil <laughs> and everything in between. You did a really great job. And for that, you got a score of 10. For the second challenge, we saw a lot of placement. We saw a lot of opportunity as well. At this point, we're not quite sure the direction that you're gonna take. However, we're really incredibly impressed. And for that, we are giving you a score of 14 for a total of 24 today. Great job. Okay, up next, we have Dennis, Denise, and Victoria. Victoria, you went on a shopping spree this morning. For the gods, my goodness. I want one of these, I want one of these. It was so fun to watch your whole team dynamic in action. For challenge one, you got a 10. For challenge two, your placement. I love the focal point. I love the different levels. The colors of your plants carry the eye through the focal point, which I love. For challenge two, we're giving you a 15. For a total of 25. So what's so that we, mean? We have a tie. This morning during shopping, 
everyone was within budget. But who came closest to budget? So for a total of $491.50, we have a winner. Gigi and Ross. And your prize, of course, for the day is the golden watering pot. Congratulations. Yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs> That was so, close. That was a squeaker. I, yeah, but I'm so happy that they liked what we did with the plant. It really brings what was kind of a boring, kind of dead space, uh, new life. Day three is all about upcycling and repurposing furniture you already have. So be thinking about being super creative, working together, and doing something pretty spectacular to impress us judges. All right, all right we'll guys. see you tomorrow. Get some rest. Coming up next on Backyarding. Today, our focus is on upcycling and repurposing your furniture. Challenge one is to find those pieces. We um, use it actually as our wedding centerpiece. Challenge two, transform those pieces. Ready, set, go. go. Coordinating pieces in different parts of the area really ties the whole backyard together. Look at that, I'm into restoration. Okay. I love this color. It's amazing, all done. 